Cyclock time, baby! Manga time of time! Time to pry open these lies! Oh, there's only two. That's not so bad. I was so scared. Of what? What? Since I've been handed this case, it's my duty to dig up all the answers. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe a case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen time and time again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? I swear, I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were so scared. That's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder. Is this what you... We're frightening you so much you couldn't even leave your own room. Uh, uh, my effing lightning bolt? No. The demons? Cause she didn't have her hat. Uh, the sword? No. I got nothing. I'll be honest. Like what? Did we miss a piece of evidence somehow? I mean, let's just pick the sword, I guess. Wait, that's Edgeworth's? Take that! Like, he's... What? He's actually British? Take that! That That changes everything. Perhaps this is what you were afraid of. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Why is your voice trembling? It's just your eyes. They're so scary. Uh, Blast, I must be trying to too hard to bluff. Excuse me, I... I selected the wrong option. I should apologize. I'm sorry for being such a scaredy cat. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Uh... You were afraid of the weather. <laughs> uh, I don't think that was it. Okay! Uh... I guess we don't have enough info after all. Are we supposed to... Interrogate Larry first? Looks like I still don't have enough info. I need to investigate further and gather some more. Sigh. So oh, well. Oh, hey, they put... Uh, could you, could you move out the... Oh, yeah, sorry. They put, they put up a board. Look at that. So this is the bridge right to try to cross. Pretty reckless, if you ask me. I'm amazed he survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy. Now I see how he manages to win so many cases. Blind simple luck! Right. I think dumb luck suits right just a bit better. <laughs> that is so true in universe. What was she effing afraid of? I got nothing, bruh. Did we exhaust all your... What? Was that there before? Uh... Wow, I guess I never saw this. There are more Enza cushions in the corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking from under that stack? Uh, beats me, let's deal it. Whoop! Would you mind checking that out for me, Detective Gumshoe? Oh yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Ah, oh, it's booby trap! Oh, I mean, here, here you are, Edward. Duh. Looks like an old manila envelope. Ah! What is it, detective? This... This could be it! An ultra-important clue! A super special one! I, I... I suppose I should read it, then. Looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Wow. Denied at 10 p.m. or a.m. I assume it's p.m. She did... They didn't specify. At Heavenly Hall. Unless you want your secret to be exposed. This... This sounds like blackmail. Okay. Uh... Maybe she dropped it. Uh... Nice going there, Edgeworth! I can never find clues like that. Uh... It's gotta be more thorough! <laughs> You're an ultra-important prosecutor! It's super-duper one, too! Well, I suppose it takes a super-duper kind of dumb luck to... A super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this? Edward, that- I'm only human! I'm juggling! You know, I'm trying to- you know, I, I, I got no excuse. Alright, whatever. 
That thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. This is the Lesser Magatama. It's a precious heirloom containing a great many of souls. Uh, this is Lesser. How big's a greater one? The greater Magatama is displayed on the main room of Fay Manor. It was supposed to be shown at the Three Treasures of Kurain exhibit, but it was too big to get out the darn door. That's a shame. Uh, <laughs> it would have been funny seeing someone try and steal that. I guess I never did look around this room. It's an altar with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There are lots of candles lined up, too. They smell like Cinnabons. Ooh! You know, I haven't had a birthday party myself in quite a while. Uh, maybe you should blow out those candles over there to make up for that. Oh, can I? Would you, would you mind singing happy birthday to me while I do it? Stop that! Cut that out, you two! Do not blow out the sacred altar candles! Well, all right, I guess I can't do nothing on my birthday! Great! Great! There's flowing script written everywhere on the walls. I guess they don't, uh, have any parchment lying around. Man, I bet you have awful nightmares if you try to sleep in here. Just chores and chores and more to-do lists. Jeez! This is our main hall. It's not a laundry list of things, you know. It's protected by a variety of magic spells and charms. They're all designed to prevent evil forces from entering. And, well, also the walls keep burglars out, so it's kind of a, you know, just kills two birds with one stone. So if I slept here, in the Oogie Woogie Boogie Man, wouldn't hunt me down for eternity. All right, I can do that. <laughs> Does this guy think about anything other than eating and sleeping? Uh, there are basic human necessities. All right, I think we got it all, except, oh, it's a warmed cat box. But where are all the cats? I, I guess they don't have to go. <laughs> it's called a hibachi. It's for heating the room, gumshoe. Oh, look at these ancient straw frisbees. Those are types of... Zabutan cushions called Enza. Oh, I guess I'm just on a losing streak today, huh? Why are you giving me such a hard time? Huh? Huh? I'm just trying to cheer you up with some silly little nonsense. Come on, come on. Don't you know the first rule of improv? Play along! Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, detective. What's up? Alright, I think that's it. Any other ransom notes or like second, you know? All right, well, let me actually read it. I mean, this has gotta be it, right? There is something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you at 10. All right, 10. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. And that's the secret that, yeah, she's like actually a criminal. So that pretty much like solves the case. It doesn't really solve the case. But then who the dump? I also don't know how to get out of here. Is it some special? Okay, we got it. Okay, but like, who the dump would have called her to give her that note? Oh no! Was it? Was it pearls? It could have. Wait, no, pearls can't even write. She's in the like first grade, bro. I mean, which? Okay, hold up. There's no grammatical errors. I don't think this was actually Pearly's. No, it'd have to be somebody who is good at writing. Maybe writing children's books. Oh wait, her books that only had illustrations. Whatever. I think this was it. I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you, isn't it, Iris? Uh, that's. Well, I'm right, aren't I? Why? Why are you? Clearing at me like that. You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you. Isn't that correct, miss? Ah, no! Is that a no as in Kaya, he's discovered my secret, or no, it wasn't a letter addressed to you? Of course. It's probably the former. Was it the evidence of the power of my glare that broke that glock? <laughs> my, I'm sharper than I thought. Oh well, I don't suppose it matters either way. Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, y yes, I was f sorry, I was fix fixated on something to the right of you. I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it. 
too, that would cause me any grief. Uh-huh. I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. Uh, no, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. That's right, there were some unexpected guests. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, I will find it, Iris. And you will go back to jail. I mean, <clears throat> I'm your defense attorney. Okay, uh, there's one person who you didn't- Ooh, it was him! It was friggin' Larry! I mean, Laurie! Okay, it was probably- it was probably Phoenix. Like, come on. Phoenix Wright. Who is that again? I don't- I don't think I've ever been introduced. You mean something to Wright, it seems. For some reason. I can't imagine why. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. <laughs> Wasn't she, wasn't she manipulating him for her own personal gain? Like, that's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much. Especially from a friend of his. You really shouldn't blush. It's, it's not doing you any favor. I'm going to defend you. You don't have to suck up. God. All right, lady. Tell us why we already have Oh, she... She has two things. Maybe I don't have this all figured out. After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack in the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? Okay. It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Huh, okay. Where is it exactly on this map? Eh? Oh! Well, how about that? It's around here. To get there, you must follow a small path down up from Dusky Bridge. Wait, wasn't that where the amulet was? The reality is, to get to the inner temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall, I... <laughs> I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't even want to think about it. So this is the secret that you locked away in your heart? Yes. Looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. Maybe I'll find some sort of sign or mystery blackmailer. Ooh. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. <sighs> but dude, that conflicts with Bikini's testimony. <sighs> The sword had to get her somehow, bruh! Come on! In truth, it could have just been rigged to fall down, but you'd also... I mean, that'd be so difficult. You'd have to make sure that Dunham... Miss Dunham, pardon me, was actually, you know, at that time, in that place. So that's weird. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you, I will win. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix can see each other again, or whatever. But when I do, miss, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? As I know, I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. Honey, you changed your hair. It's not a secret. Come on. Like, come on! He's not that dumb. Uh... All right, you may have a point. <laughs> I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. Her and her assembly of frisbees. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Dunum with a sword. How she, how you got it out of her, I don't really know, but and. One other thing. She said that when Maya Fey began her training in the Inner Temple, you were there as well. So did you cross that bridge or not? Uh, what? When I spoke with your last, you claimed you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet, Sister Bikini says otherwise. How very strange. But I... I, I didn't go there. 
I didn't go to the inner temple last night. So Bikini be lying. Okay, great. If we are to believe our clients. I mean, they're buddy buddy. Would Bikini lie? What point would she have to lie? Because she wanted... Maybe she's the true culprit. But then how did the... How did the... Oh God, this one is already kind of tough, yo. Body fell. Wait, the body fell. I keep forgetting that. In that case... Oh, I can't see, like, the... Photo of Elise. Okay, no, that's not the photo we're looking for. Oh, I can't figure it out. But we got her testimony. That's good. Okay, wait right here. I'm going on a little trip. You're coming too. Oh boy, I can't wait. Ooh, what the heck? A place no one would ever want to go. Yeah, that that sums it up pretty well. I... Whoa. Not much of a view down there, huh? Still better than the view from my apartment, though, I'll tell you that much. Someone's here. Hi, detective. Ah! Oh, why, why, why? Why does this always happen? Whenever I find a girl I like, there's always some... There's, they always run away. Yeah. Kind of an odd pattern. I'm definitely not at fault at all. I even chased one of them to Japan. Next, it's going to be prison, I guess. You take that sentence a lot of ways. <laughs> I'll steal that detective's wallet. I'll get me locked up for sure. Nah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. What if he's got lady troubles too? Come on, think of your fellow man, Mr. Laurie. What a kind and tender soul. <laughs> he's uh, just talking to himself, Mr. Edgeworth. Shh, be quiet and listen. Who was that? I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again done that what did he do i wonder hey you what you just said i got an objection pal what ah! what the dump that's what you dirty rat give him one of the old edgeworth glares sing 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 come shoot you oaf oh i thought we i thought i thought we were glaring at larry my bad i'm sorry sir i just got into the heat of the moment i wanted to point at him Point at him and say, OBJECTION! I'm not that down on my luck, I'm meeting with my buddy. Before I knew it, I was just shouting OBJECTION. And in a loud, commanding voice, wherever did I were, we'll learn that from. <laughs> You've watched too many trials, it seems. Well, yeah, you have too, but whatever. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh, I plead the fifth? You can't, you can't, no, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> what are you doing here? What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. <laughs> and why were you down here in the first place? Let me guess, scribbling on the walls? It's a little juvenile, isn't it? Ah, come on! I'm an artiste. I was looking for a good place to do some sketching, you dig? This is a great little place. It's, uh... Artistic. Yeah. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse. Kind of like me. Uh, y y y you definitely are not cold, buddy. Uh, but the rest checks out. Sounds like a lie apartment. Oh, my God. One thing's for sure. No one is likely to show up and disturb you all the way out here. Hmm... So can I get you fellas a drink? Some hot water, maybe? Come on, it's on the house. I boil it so there's no germs. But uh, do blow on it so you don't, you know, die. Ah, uh, oh, thank you, man, but uh, he's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. I don't like it, he's up to something. He's hiding something. Sho shove that green little goo gooby thing in his face. Go gooby? You know what I mean. I don't. Uh, so you're, you're, Soon to be wife. How is she? Listen to me, Edgeworth. You gotta do this. <laughs> you 
had to save Iris. Unless she did it, then. Ooh, then she's a bad girl. You gotta save her, Edsworth! I, what? Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because you believe she's attractive? Watch your mouth, buddy. She's mine. Anyway, I made my mind up about that. I'm gonna marry that girl, and there's nothing you can do about it, Dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, are you, what are you talking about? I'm not... oh, sorry, I called you Dad. Oh, God, that's embarrassing. Like calling your, your teacher Mom? Uh, I'm flattered, but I'm, uh, Mr. Edgeworth's pretending he didn't hear you, so, so I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you. All right, Pops, what is it? Have you already asked that girl to marry you? If so, it's kind of, uh, I don't Nah, not, not yet. Come on, I, I can't even afford the ring. But I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. She's always looking away from me, looking to the side, too embarrassed to give me eye contact. She's obviously in love with me. Yeah, that's definitely what that means. She's got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. Uh, I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He'd never imagine I could marry such a beautiful, vulnerable woman. <laughs> uh, God, he's, he's really creepy, isn't he? There's like zero things redeemable about Larry. But he does have good taste in clothing. I mean, that's one thing. All right, he can dress himself. I can't do that, so that's envy right there. Something tells me he would be shocked indeed to hear this. That's why I didn't want to do anything, you know, dangerous. I mean, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? What? What? The what do you mean? To what was well, this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. <laughs> uh, if we really want to know the answer to that, we're going to have to drag him over to the witness stand, it seems. Okay. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my previous question. Where were you on the night of the incident? Ah, uh, come on. Do you have anything else to ask me about? Ugh, you're such a square. That kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies' man like me, edgy boy. Oh, however will I survive. <laughs> okay, okay, chill out with those scary eyes, I get it! If you really want to know, it, uh, last night, I saw something incredible. Something incredible? Mmm, oh god. Iris in that... <laughs> oh, here we go again. When the colors inverted, Iris looked really scary. Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that right now. I'm not really up to it. Let's talk about the good old days. You know, third grade. Or was it fourth? Or was it second? Could have been tooth. Tooth grade. Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot cup of water. No bacteria or bacteria. What do you what do you think? Why isn't he realized? I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him. Oh yeah, cause he's dead, dude. Oh, frick. Anyway, time to eat, Magatama! I'd bite down on it and like, mm, tastes like amber. Mm, mm. All right, let's check this out. The night of the crime. So, now you're going to tell me exactly what you really saw last night. Whoa, so commanding. You're so upset, aren't you, Edgy Boy? Okay, okay, I'll tell you the whole truth. Huh? That was a bit too easy. <laughs> but if a psych lock opens anyway... <laughs> they should do that. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome! Never seen anything like it. At around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I've been sleeping. As I do. You know, need my beauty sleep and all that. Everybody needs their 12 hours of sleep. Not sure how long it was, though. Uh, suddenly, zing! The world in front of me went white. Like I'd just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. Oh my god, why would she slap you? Jesus, I can only imagine. Then what? And then it was on fire! The whole bridge was on fire! Dusky Bridge caught on fire? Are you saying you witnessed this with your very own eyes? Yeah, what are, you, what are you giving me the evil eye for? I'm telling the truth. Still three Cyclops remaining. That, what does that mean? 
He's still trying to hide something? Okay. By the way, Larry. Where were you when you saw that happen? Where were you? Where did you say? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer the question. Where were you when you witnessed this event? I was in my own room by the main hall. Duh. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. Oh, that makes me want some jelly. Okay, so f focus, don't. God, all I think about is sleeping and eating too, jeez. Problem, I suspect, lies there. Th there? What do you mean there? It's impossible for you to have seen lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. Why is that? Uh, oh, there's a cliff. There's literally a cliff block blocking the, blocking. That's it, isn't it? This is a map. And you, sir, are a liar. Come on. What, what, what am I supposed to be looking at here? I, I, I don't see a key or, you know. A, a... I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible for you to see the bridge, as that is lower elevation. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? I wanted to lie to your face! Well, how about it? Are you going to do this the easy way or the hard way, Mr. Butts? It's pronounced boots, but, uh, what are you talking about? Do you feel like talking now? About what? <laughs> Urge to kill. Rising. It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple. So then where were you? You don't know that I wasn't in my room. So where was Larry? And why was he there? I've read the situation up to this point correctly. The answer is fairly obvious. Very well then, let's test my theory. Uh, place where, the place where you witnessed the lightning strike. Oh, probably here. Right? Wow, that was, dude, I was psyching myself out for nothing. I thought it was gonna be way harder. The place you saw the lightning strike was here, where we're at currently. You know, they say the, the true culprit always returns to the scene of the it doesn't really work here. I'll just keep that to myself. I'm gonna be hanging around this stupid old smelly shack brewing hot cups of water for my guests. Bleh. It's freezing out here. There's no electricity and it could fall apart at any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? Unless you've already been here. And how do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Well, hmm. In other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. Good job! My theory that you've at least once in your life visited this heavenly hall after sunset. Ooh! Dang, I didn't even think of that. Edgeworth, you get him, dude! I gotta admit, I'm a tiny bit impressed. You're in a totally different league than Nick! Why, Larry? Why do you lie to your friends? That's a nice compliment. Now please tell me. What were you doing in this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call... Affair Decor. I think you mean Affair Decor. I, I don't know French. Uh, or Spanish. Or Italian. Heck, that could freaking be Canadian. I don't know. What language do Canadians speak? Whatever. Could it be you were waiting for someone? Is that it? <laughs> no. You really are one scary guy, you know, Edgeworth! I believe that last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. Uh... 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 Iris? Did you write the letter? Oh my god, Larry! There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this. I... Told you, man. Don't call me Larry. I, I actually, I actually screwed that up. I didn't call you Larry. Oh. The person you were waiting for is, well, Iris. Of course, doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Uh, how'd you know? Suddenly, I feel cold all over, Edgy. Oh no! <laughs> is this hypothermia? No doubt, because of my chilly glare. <laughs> Edgy's being, Edgy being a little silly. So you think I got the hotter sister, Iris, huh, dude? 
That's gross. She's literally somebody's sister. You got some kind of evidence? You got some that proves I was waiting for her? Huh? Or are you just guessing? Yeah, like that'll stand up in court. Uh, this is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you're waiting for Iris. Uh, like seriously, bro. There, there's no, did you really just do this? Like, I'll be so disappointed in him. Did you write this, Larry? You called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter, did you not? Hey, give that back! You're embarrassing me! What are you doing with that anyway? Th that's not important. I misjudge you, Larry. To think you'd fall so far from grace. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's faulty like that? You should be ashamed of yourself! If I had a desk, I would smack it! <laughs> Hey, go easy on the shack, uh, Jortha. First of all, what's this at the top of the letter? It says, Salutation, here. Well, that's what it said in that book, Letter Writing for Dummies. You're not supposed to actually write that, you moron! <laughs> Put the salutations here and he's... <laughs> Alright, that's pretty... I didn't even think about that. That's where you're supposed to write, Dear Iris, you nimcompoop. <laughs> I'm so sorry! Maybe I should have read the book a little bit better. Uh, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's funny, but at the same time, I don't. I get so into the into the game. I'm just like, dude, you're 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 a creep. This guy's awful. You were here in the heavenly hall last night, were you not, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, did you not? I'm sorry, Edward. <laughs> I'm nice to a friend once again. <laughs> Sorry, don't cut it, you scumbag! Threatening a young lady like that, that's... That's too far! I know you're desperate, but come on! Wait, hold up! Ah, uh, what is it now? What are you talking about, threatening? I profess my love! I'm t yeah, yeah, you got a creepy way of saying it, buddy! Look at this thing! Look at it! I'll tell you what, you tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose her secret, you little creepazoid! What do you mean, threaten? When, it, when did I threaten her? My heart is yours? Is, it, is that a threat? You thought I was gonna like throw my heart beating heart at her? Come on! Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail! Yeah! Give me a break, it's a love letter! Haven't you ever been in love, detective? Ah, well, there's this one lady I have. She, she's a little younger, but oh man, she... Shut up. What, what did you just say? My love for her burns so hot, it could melt all the snow on this mountain. How are those pros, huh? It's like I'm a real pro. Eh? Then, then what is the secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgeworth. Don't you get it? My junk! What? I'm talking about the secret of love between me and her. Uh, 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 that's so stupid. Obviously, she wouldn't want old lady Bikini to know about that, right? You know, nuns and their vow of not uh, doing stuff, you know. About our hot and sour, bitter love affair, you know. I think I'm going to be sick. All right, then why did you send a love letter in a business like Manila Envelope? Give me a break, it's not my fault I didn't have any envelopes, yeesh. Also, the post office was closed and uh, I didn't have the money anyway to- Then why were you quick to apologize, pal? It's cause Edgeworth gave me this scary look. I can't follow this anymore. That's unbelievably, n that's just nonsense. What's wrong, Edgeworth? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Oh man, have the tables have turned? My chip, uh, chipper, d d uh, sl sly, cool guy, persona, scare ya? That, that's it. That's what all th those huge locks were about is a love letter? I, I don't understand why you're so defensive. There's some things you can't explain, Edgeworth. The heart is just one of the many mysteries of life. 
And well, I, I don't know, I, I, I guess the thing is, you shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. <laughs> I'm so alone. Hey, come on, don't let it get you down. You know, Edgeworth, we could we could knock them out and they never find the body all the way out here. No, that's illegal. Mr. Edgeworth, I really think we should. He's a creep. This guy's still holding something. I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy just said a minute ago. I know it was more than a minute ago, but it's just a saying. Eh. You really want to know? Last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm. He's right. Larry. Moa! Oh, you're still here! Hey, guys! Don't forget to drink up. It's gonna get cold. You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just wants to find a bone. Ah, what a relatable thing in life. Oh, God, that's awful. <laughs> What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry. One way or another, you're not leaving here until you tell me. I... I already told you, didn't I? I saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. Yes, I believe it was the incredible sight that you saw, but not... But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. Nah, what do you mean? If that's all there is to your story, your heart wouldn't have been... You, you, I mean, you wouldn't have had all those locks. Therefore, Larry, I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than just lightning. Locks? What are you, what are you, uh, what are you talking about? Why, how, when, where, where, why? Hey! What do you think you're doing? You're trying to confuse us. You hide anything from Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot! Oh my god, he has two sets? You're joking. I almost spat out my drink! No! <laughs> I hate you, Barry Bunch. I hate you. What's wrong, sir? I almost had a spit tank. Oh, does this mean I have to do this all over again? Curse this Magatama! I wish I never had you. But then again, you are an unbelievably helpful item. But at the same time, no. We just have to suck it up and get it done. Why are you glaring at me like that? I'm next to be hit by a bolt of lightning, it seems. Yuck, 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 yuck. I just had it with this Harlequin. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. What? What? That's the end of the chat. What? Oh my god. Are we going to court? Oh my god. You know, in hindsight, I probably could have wrapped that up last episode. Whoopsies. Hey guys, welcome. What the? F what? Okay, I guess court time. Well, let's get it. I, I don't feel like we have enough evidence, but here we are. Oh my. Mr. Loris feels that way about me? Oh, how uh, flattering. Apparently, he isn't aware of your real secret at all. A simple confusion, I'm happy to report. This is no time to be embarrassed. I'm sorry. Just all these young men pining over me, it's a little much. Yeah, must feel nice. It's just hardly accustomed to that sort of thing, you see. I... Come on, come, maybe. How did you get out of jail? How did you get out of jail? How did she get out of jail? Doesn't seem to have any spiritual power. What the... What? Worry not, even though I am very worried. And in any case, whatever it was that he saw on that night of the incident, mark my words, I will drag it out of him. Does that mean Mr. Loris? L Loris? Lorice? I want some Lorice right now. Sorry, okay. Does that mean he's a witness today? No. I believe that none will be the first to take the stand. Sister Bikini. She claims to have seen the very instant in which you carried out the crime. I just want to ask you one last time. It really wasn't you who killed Miss Elise Dunham, correct? That is correct. It was not me. Very well. Then I have a lot of work to do. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes? You are a prosecutor, aren't you? Are you sure about this? If your true identity is revealed- Nonsense! How hard could it be? It's like killing someone in reverse. I 
think they refer to that as healing. Maybe you're familiar. I've made the necessary arrangements. I see. Iris. It is a prosecutor's job to doubt people. But right now, I'm a defense attorney. A defense attorney's job is to believe in people. And to believe until the better end. That's what my friend told me once. Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you just... Oh, I thought this was a handkerchief. Uh, uh, I am disgusted. Good thing I always carry a spare cravat with me. <laughs> I simply ask that you watch and, and decide for yourself whether or not I am fit to do the task I've been entrusted. Very well, sir. I leave my defense in your capable hands. Okay. Oh god. I like I, I like fake snotted, but now I have to like real snot. Like I don't have I don't have anything. I don't have a handkerchief. Freak, I'm screwed. Hey, no one showed up. Free win. Woo! I forget how this guy sounded. I have to. When I was driving over here, I was like, "Come on, come on, channel it. Channel that weird sicko from five years ago. Where the freak time?" Court is now in session for the trial of Sister Iris of uh, Hazakura Temple. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Boy, this feels weird. The defense does indeed appear to be ready, but uh, I think uh, missing another f f someone else. Uh, same cannot be said for the prosecution, I'm afraid. Indeed. Oh well, free win. I'm afraid not. Not sure I like such a blatant waste of my time, but an empty prosecution chair can only mean. The prosecution has no confidence in their ability to prove their case. What a shame. It would seem this case is already over before it had a chance to begin. Wait, actually free win? Hello? I am ready to announce my verdict at this time. This court finds the defendant... No! No! Why? Why? Yeah! You're sick. You're sick. You're a sick freak. What? The prosecution stands ready. I have arrived. No, I know. You're all as surprised as I am. <laughs> hey, and who are you, uh, young miss? Francisca von Karma, prosecuting prodigy. <laughs> you haven't heard of me? B B von Karma, you say? Oh, God. P perhaps you hadn't been any relation to the legendary uh, prosecutor Manfred von Karma? I do know of him, yes. Legends are a thing of the past, I'm afraid, though. I am a Von Karma. That is all. Upon a special request, I flew in today for the purpose of prosecuting this case. Oh, you did? Wow, that must be quite the big shot, hey? <laughs> By the way, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. I'm almost certain that I've seen you somewhere before. Am I just imagining things? Uh, hopefully, do you like bran flakes? I, I did a promotion for them, but that, that was me as a tennis player, not a defense attorney <laughs> or a prosecutor. You look very much like a prosecutor I met once. I believe you're imagining things, Your Honor. Dang, line and court, Edgeworth, shoot. You bad boy. Is Von Karma? You have anything to add? Give me a moment. No. Oh, wait, yes. There is no such thing. There is no such weakling as this man among those of the prosecutor's office. Hey, there isn't. But I'm sure w w once before in this court... No! Ah! I told you there is no such weakling. Never seen him ever, ever, ever! What is this, a whip? Not sure I care for such a thing in my courtroom, but... Well, she is a celebrity, so... Bailiff, remove that whip. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Let's go! Huh? Edgeworth isn't British. I have no objection to the whip. Uh, that didn't come out right. I don't know. You, you, you don't. The prosecution can wield a whip or drink 17 cups of coffee. But there's still only one truth. That is what I stand here to prove today. <laughs> it's so stupid! It's so dumb! I hate Von Karma so much. I hate her. I hate her. 
This is a promise to be interesting, Miles Edgeworth. I had expected to face Phoenix right here today, but I, looking at you now, maybe this is what I've been waiting for all this time. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, I will not allow this chance to crush... To chance to crush your slip through my to crush you slip through my finger. Why do I, dude, I can't read today. God damn. Too frazzled. I see you brought your flair for the histrionic? I don't know what that means and I don't care. Allow me to add the thing I'm not too sure about. People are acting bizarrely in my courtroom. Ah! The stage is set. Now continue with your proceedings, Your Honor. Oh, thank you for the gentle reminder. Very gentle. Mr. Conkammer, please give me an outline of this case. I'm unfamiliar. With as little whipping as possible. No. Ugh! The murder victim is the famed picture book author, Miss Elise Dunum. Ugh. Her body was found in the Hazakure Temple courtyard. She had been stabbed through the torso by a ceremonial sword from a golden statue. Uh, the sword in this picture, eh? Well, how about that? All right. Court accepts this as evidence. Sure, why not? There was no mistake. This was the doing of Sister Iris. After all, there is a witness to her crime. Okay. Please bring the witness to the stand. Oh, God. And so it begins. My first and last trial as a defense attorney. Oh, God. <laughs> Witness, state your name and occupation, please. Hold it right there. Not sure about... Not, not being... Uh, I, I'm not sure about being not sure if I can care for this at all. Witness, please stand up nice and straight. <laughs> if I recall correctly, there are a few milk crates in the defendant's lobby for our back pain-plagued witness. Bailiff, secure the crates for this poor lady. I'm on it, boss. There she is. Okay. All right. Once again, your name and occupation, if you would. Little old me? Well, I'm the head nun of Hazakura Temple, Eagle Mountain. My name is Bikini. You got it, Bikini. Nice to meet everyone. My God, I've never seen such a <laughs> beautiful fiction. But you don't appear to be wearing a bikini. Are you lying in court? I need some evidence of the- oh god. The courtroom is the garden of holy judgment. Those with lechery in their hearts should leave this sanctuary at once. No creepy old men allowed, thank you. You want- you want me to leave? Will it definitely help my case? No need to give- no need to get your bikinis in a twist. Let me tell you, I'm a sight to behold in the summer. <laughs> Strike that from the record. Strike it! Strike it! In any case, witness, I hear that you saw the crime on the night in question, correct? That's right, honey bun. I can still hardly believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way dear little Iris could do anything like that. No, literally, how'd you pick it up? Let us see what you have to say then. First, tell us a boot. A boot. That's definitely Canadian. What? Do Canadians speak English? I thought they speak French. Whoa. Anyway, uh, tell us about your movement that night, eh? Deal. My whole life is a lie. What? They, they... Anyway. That night I was helping an acolyte with a training in the inner temple, but, well, as you can see, my back likes acting up violently. Not as bad as the back pain of Miss Elise, but oh well, you know. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and returned to the Hazakura Temple. There's no bath at the inner temple, you see, and I needed one ever so badly. A nice little hot soak, if you would. It was after I had finished that I just was heading back. That's when I saw it! Alright, uh... <laughs> so it was simply coincidence that you found yourself returning to the Hazakura Temple, is that it? Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been in so much pain, I would have stayed in the inner temple. But you didn't. That sounds like a pretty important statement she just made. Hmm. There's only one problem with the testimony that I can see. And you're not about to fall at the first hurdle now, are you, Edgeworth? 
Mr. Edgeworth, please begin your cross-examination. Okay. This is a very refreshing case. God dang, this game's tight. I thought like it wasn't going to be better than the second. You know, I was like, okay, you know. What's, what's with this, you know, look at me? Come on. And even that case was Bangarang, bro. Is people still say that? Like, that, that song has not been referenced in, like, 17 years. That night, I was helping Nakalai with the training. But, as you can see, my back legs acting up. We need evidence of that. Oh, he's not British. He just goes, hold it. That's, I don't know my accents, bro, but violently. Violently? Really? That's right. It's no laughing matter, honey bunch. Especially in the winter. I can't hold anything heavier than a knife and a fork during the cold months, I'm afraid. Just being alive is like a strict training with me. <laughs> On the night of the murder, was this fabulously, fabulous back of yours hurting again? That's right, raging like a bull in a pig pen, who's arm wrestling a pigeon. I almost fainted once or twice. I just knew that unless I warmed it up, I was gonna finally finish me off. I was just looking out for myself, you see. I had to go. I left Iris to help the acolyte and returned to the temple. And you really trusted her with that. You left Iris to help. With what? What do you think? The acolyte's training. It was just about past 10 p.m., so we were starting to enter, wait, we we're starting to enter the training exercise proper. Was it your place to refrain with the remain with the disciple? Well, the job is simply to watch over the acolyte so they don't pass away. Just to confirm this point again that night, you met Iris in the inner temple, correct? Yes, yes, she's a gentle, honest girl. But she's a bit of a backstab, it appears. Oh, she never once failed to follow my directions. Until recently, it seems. So I'm bathing in the temple, so I need to... Oh, really? Hold up. I think I've already got this one. Maybe? Rang lights out bell at 10 p.m. And was there in her room until the murder happened. She says otherwise. And Phoenix knows... Phoenix knows that she went by 10. When did she say the time exactly? It was just past 10. So we're starting to enter the... Okay. That's not exactly a discrepancy. Just past 10 is fine. She does lights out, then heads toward, you know, the bridge. That's fine. There's no bath in the inner temple. Let's just let's just press them all. We're already, we're already this close. So you return to the Hazakura temple in order to take a bath. My back is to blame for everything. Literally everything. It's do or do be done in kind of world after all. How long were you in the bath for, if you don't mind me asking? My, 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 what a filthy little rogue you are. I know what's on your mind, you naughty, naughty boy. I assure you that is not the case. Oh, I bet your next question is going to be, where exactly did you wash? Oh, how vile. This is why you have to watch the young ones. They are just too curious for their own good. What are you, what are you, ah, ah, my nose. Oh. Pathetic. Miles Edgeworth. Older woman, really? The lowest of the low. I is there some sort of kick me sign stuck to the defense bench? This is. I really regret saying I don't mind the whip. My god. Anyway, I couldn't afford to be away from my post for too long, you know. I, I made it quick. Got it. So after I finished, I was heading back, and that's when I saw it. What did you see? The crime that took place? Is that what you're referring to? When you go from my room to the main hall, you have to take a winding hallway from which you can see the courtyard. That's right. In other words, it was pure coincidence that the witness saw the crime taking place before her eyes. There are no complicated setup. In this case, there was no complicated setup. Okay, that certainly seems to be true. There is indeed only one problem with this testimony. If I can clearly point out what it is, I can begin to quantify just how good this witness memory and observation skills are. Damn, we don't have a sidekick for this round. I, I'm... 
Other than the time discrepancy, nothing's nothing's coming to mind. That night I was help. Uh, okay. I don't think it's one where you have to press everything, but just to be thorough. Conversing with the spirits is what we train people to do, right? We'll be the ones asking you the questions, madam. In order to do that, a, sp a place strong in spiritual power is required. There's a small temple across Dusky Bridge called the Inner Temple. Acolytes must spend an entire night trying to go intense training there. And how exactly do you help with this process? It's all quite exacting. It can be performed without a nun supervising. Like a tutor. Watching to make sure a spoiled child studies. A tutor with a whip in your case. All right, in that case. Then why did you return to the Hazakura Temple? When the murder took place. Okay, it wasn't that. Come on, John, think, think, think. Okay, what's our evidence? Let's, let's start with that first. Wait, the map. Oh, that doesn't show me the map of the actual temple. Okay. Okay. Can we... I don't know if you can use testimony to... Well, it's worth a shot. I mean, we're full HP. So I left Iris Hell of the Acolyte, returned to the House of Katerin. Uh, where is it? I gotta find it again. Okay. So it's... She's a gentle, honest girl. She never once failed to follow my directions. Okay. But according to her, she she never even went to the temple. So one of you is this lion. Oh, wait, that's not it. Hold on. That's it. Yeah. Feels good to hear that. Witnesses have to undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. The defendant's fate rests on their powers of observation and memory, after all. Well, 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 don't worry. I'm more than up to the task. I'm a woman of faith, after all. The head honcho of Hazakura Temple. In that case, Miss Honcho, I'd like you to explain something for me. The discrepancy between your testimony and that of the defendant, who you've said to all of us, is an honest girl. She claims that after ringing the lights out bell, she went back and stayed in her room. Which means she did not go to the inner temple at all. No, no, she said that. Oh, well, a defendant or a witness. Who was more likely to lie, do you suppose? The defendant is simply lying to cover her back. I disagree, because you could say the, the same for her. But that is completely illogical. The murder was committed in the courtyard of Hazakura Temple, claiming that she went to the inner temple. Would make for a much better alibi? Crap, Edgeworth, you're right! Uh, well, but that is odd. Whatever the reason, I can't believe that she would lie! Uh, she does indeed have honest eyes. Honest, gigantic, bug-like eyes. Ah! All people lie. That is my belief. Why am I the only one being whipped here? Because you're gross and old and smell like mothballs. Ew. Well, be that as it may, neither the witness nor the defendant had any reason to lie. Which means you must call your memory into question, madam. Dear, dear, dear. You're older than me and you want to play that game, do ya? I, I, wow. I'm older than you, I could have fooled me, but th this isn't exactly what I want to do, but... My memory is perfect, crystal clear, especially in the winter. You know what they say about one of your senses being dulled and the others get stronger. It's, well, my back doesn't work. Yeah, everything else is top shape. Don't think that's how that works. Uh, I suppose it's too early to end this cross-exam. Edgeworth, if you are going to question the memory of the witness, you need to show me a piece of decisive evidence. Understood, Your Honor. I was naive to think that alone would do the trick. Oh, well, we'll be fine. Maybe. And please add your comments about Iris to the testimony. Let's return. Okay. What is it? That night I was... Wait. Uh, where, where's the new one? Iris came to the inner temple. She was dressed exactly as she'd been at dinner. What does that mean? Are you sure that you're not making a mistake? Y young man... You need to get your estimation of me up from the floor! <laughs> Iris always wears the same clothes. The smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb to me. You're making a mistake. Thinking I made a mistake? What? What? An excellent finish there, I must say. <laughs> I wonder. Uh, there's no- okay. Was that not it? 
As you can see, my back likes... Uh, I don't understand. There's no bath through the inner temple. When I saw it. Is it... Hold on. I mean, this is... This is clearly her hood. Why do we have this? She's not... I mean, she's kind of wearing it there. There's no actual picture of her having it or not having it. What, is, what are we doing? I'm so sorry. I'm, lo I'm lost in the sauce again. Dang it! Exactly as she had been during dinner. I mean, we can just YOLO it and see if we get it. Well, friggin' all right. Luck lucky Joe. Witness. Let's get one thing straight. The defendant whom you claim to have met. She was wearing this demon warding hood. Is that right? Of course, hon. That's a very important piece of clothing you've got right there. Oh! But stealing a woman's clothing, oh, how... Uh, wait a minute. Objection! Oh, crap. Hold it right there. Why do you have that, you creep? <laughs> That's the question of the day now, isn't it, Miss Von Karma? I'll have you know that this hood was given to someone as a gift that night, before the lights out bell was rung. <laughs> what? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness had seen the defendant as she claims, then why do I have the hood? Then the iris she saw would also have it. Does she have a spare? I doubt it. Oh, go golly, she is really tiny. It's not a bad feeling at all, exposing contradictions like this. <laughs> I think I could get used to it. Now I understand that happy look on Wright's face. It is real. It is. It is really fun. Like, oh goddamn. Order in the court. I ah, sister. This hood. You have spare ones lying around the temple, do you not? Spares. Well, I do tend to make too many of them. I see. A stockpile. Very smart. A surplus of hoods, eh? Each nun is only given one hood, though. I'm afraid. This should be the only hood that Iris could possibly wear. Uh, then why do you make more? Because I'm a nun, silly! It's what we do! <laughs> that is, uh, quite strange. Nah! <laughs> you should not insult others' hobbies. Goodness. If there was a surplus of hoods, then she could have worn one of those. There is no contradiction here. Too bad, you lose. Bye-bye. Hmm. -bye. You got me there. Who turned out the lights? What? I'm sorry to break this to you, Miss Von Karma. But you won't get away that easily. Discrepancies such as this will sow seeds in any human heart. The seeds of doubt. Witness, while I don't wish to call your testimony into doubt, you must give every detail with precision, I'm afraid. I'm not sure I'm comfortable going along with this. This court thing is not my style. Sister, you shall continue with your testimony. Also, I'm starting to realize we sound very similar. This is very unfortunate. We're both in the same trial. Hmm. Ah, well. Tell us what you saw after finishing your bath. On your way back to the inner temple. No seeds of doubt are sprouting into the judge's heart. They just need a little more simulation to bear fruit. Contradictory stimulation. That didn't sound right, Edgeworth. What the heck is wrong with you, boy? All right. What is it? Oh, I finished my bath around 11, and I thought I should return to the inner temple. As I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I took a look, and Iris was... Oh, Miss Alice! And with that sort of all things... <sighs> that really happened, though? Mr. Elise was staying in the corner room, which faces out of the courtyard. The stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed out of her window. Alright, she mentions the window. That's fair, but... You saw a truly terrible sight like that, did you? I was right in your place. I'd be much like Miss Von Karma, whipping Edgeworth in two in court. And me, seeing it all in the very chair. An out of our experience, if you would. Well, something like that, anyway. Miss Judge... My god. His imagination is about as vivid and creative as Detective Gumshoe. I would look the fool if I... 
commented on such foolishness. Anyway, this case is mine. You lose, Edgeworth. Not yet, I don't. Calling everyone by their full name. Can't you do something about that strange, bizarre habit of yours? 